it is September, but it's never too early to start planning your holiday vacation. But with so many different places to go and so many places to, to see, who has time to do all the research? I wish I did, this but guy. apparently David Hoffman, <laughs> what is that picture creator right of davidsbeenhere.com, you stole my idea, David. I did. It's the coolest You're idea ever. You're scamming vacations and you stole my idea. It's a great right, idea, though. Like. It's David's a great idea. Davidsbeenhere.com. Uh, first of all, we should say local guy. Grew up here. Christopher went to, Columbus, went to Columbus graduate. Columbus, 305. 305. <laughs> <laughs> Tito. All right. They're proud of you now. Um, how did you come up with this idea, and exactly how does it work? Okay. Well, the past 10 years, I've been traveling a lot throughout Middle East, uh, Europe, South America, and the States. And I've always had trouble looking up things on the web. Right. I mean, restaurants, nightlife, everything. So I thought, why don't I create a visual concept, sort of like YouTube, sort of like, I mean, MySpace, Facebook, integrate everything together. And I came up with this video concept to go around and film everything so everybody can get a better experience of where to go and what to see when they're in certain cities. And you shoot it yourself. And I shoot it myself. And okay. what do you do? You stand in front of a map and you close your eyes and you go, I'm going here. Well, actually, the first year I wanted to do unique places, places okay. that people don't know really about, okay. like, like Eastern Europe, uh, Croatia, Slovenia, Montenegro. I uh, went to Morocco, we did Panama, now we're going to Colombia. I mean, so okay, so basically, we go to your website, which mm -hmm. is davidsbeenhere.com, and we log on to davidsbeenhere.com. <laughs> See how I'm letting him plug this slide, and we, and we type in Morocco, and then we pop up if your video pops no, up. No, well, how does go, it work? Okay, there's a few different sections. You go to places. And uh -huh. then you'll see a map of the world. Oh. And then you look up where do you want to go. I mean, it depends where I've been. You can click uh, Africa. The only country right now is Morocco. Mm -hmm. And you click Morocco, and then you'll see the different cities. Click on the city, and then it'll say uh, activities, nightlife, hotels, accommodation, sites, activities. Oh, great. So okay. Who are you talking to? What's your demographic? Yeah, what's your is there target? somebody specific? Because I know well, that there are websites that gear for, like, the single woman who travels alone. Okay, well, it's well, a big mix. I mean, people between the age of 18 to 40. Okay. And I mean, just travelers, people that probably can't travel and they want to see the world, because that's another thing. There's people out there that can't afford it, so mm -hmm. why not see the world through me, in a way. Okay, so this, oh, that's nice, too. Maybe, or some people can't leave their homes, so this is their way to see things. Exactly. Now, um, this is your business. This is, this you're is making money off of this. Yes. So how do you make money? You're selling advertising? Well, we sell advertising, and we're coming out with a section called stock footage and stock photography. and. I mean, you guys are in uh, television, so you know what it is. I mean, stock footage is uh, like a new, um, I don't know really how to explain it. It's doc people that are making documentaries. I mean, anybody that's making a movie. Then you'll sell them the video you shot, is they what you're sell, saying. Well, not the video we shot. We shoot uh, extra for my, for my videos. We shoot like uh, little st sample, like stock footage. I mean, it's 10 second clips uh -huh. of scenery, of everything. I mean, okay. somebody pouring wine, uh, the fountain. I mean, it's a lot of different things. So this is great, but but you are working when you're on these trips. I mean, it's a little bit it's, of work. I mean, everybody oh, thinks. You know what? Come on. <laughs> don't go there. Do not do you go to places that are off the beaten path? I mean, do you look for those little nooks and crannies? Like, I read a book, uh, what is it, Eat, Love, and Pray, and this woman, you know, went all over Italy, and the, the best pizza joint was this place that you would never think of a little village in the middle of nowhere do you do that kind yes of I do that you know, we went to Italy and I have family in Italy okay. so we went to Umbria no one mm -hmm. really knows about Umbria it's the center region and we went throughout there I mean amazing place and What's no one knows Capri about it like have you been there I've been to Capri yes oh, so beautiful yes. Don't rub it Umbria <laughs> I always called it Umbria I guess that Umbria. makes me really American <laughs> All right, so David's been here dot com where you can get information if you do want to travel and find some cool places and if mm -hmm. you can't travel you are the eyes and you're letting them kind of it's like kind of like right. a love boat remember that when you yeah. could go on a cruise and you watch love boat every Saturday Smiles night eight o'clock and you felt like you were on the ship yeah, you, did. you know with Doc and, and Charo Isaac was there. and, yeah, and yeah. Charo was dancing yeah, yeah. so Anyway, great concept. Where are you going next? Give us the top three places. We're going to Colombia okay. uh, right now. Then next month we're going to be in Japan, China, Vietnam, Thailand. Who did you say? We? You have a whole posse here? Yes, it's yeah. a whole posse. Did you hear? Carlos. I'm the new Tito. partner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. Jade's jumping on board too. David, thank you so said. much. Thank you. Envy you to no end. No, Thanks. We live vicariously through you. Uh. I'm going to hit 100 countries. Okay, 100 Where countries. Yeah, heard it here. <laughs> 750.